Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to XFit Daily. I'm Michael Paterino. Let's get started here with a little warm up. We're gonna do some jumping jacks for a minute to get loose. So if ladies wanna start jumping jacks here. And today's workout is called Third Times the Charm. It consists of squats, kneeling pullovers, push-ups, supermans, and crunches. And we're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds, and we're gonna do this three times through. Working out with me today, I have Erin and Aisha. All right, doing our warm-ups here. Jumping jacks to get warmed up, get all loose. All right, you don't wanna just start getting into any kind of exercise without doing any sort of a warm-up. All of our tendons and muscles are kind of like plastic. If you start to bend and move plastic while it's cold, it's just gonna break. So you gotta get it a little warm. It'll make it a little more pliable. And we'll be good to go here. We got 30 seconds left of our jumping jacks. Remember to keep breathing. Really feel that. Get our heart rate going. Get the blood flowing. All of our joint fluid going here. We got 10 seconds left. Get the synovial fluid warmed up. All right, we're gonna get right into it here. Starting off with our squat. Have your feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend down like we're sitting into a chair, 90 degree angle at our knees, and come straight back up. Now remember, we're doing this for 30 seconds. And we're gonna do this three times through here, guys. There we go, keep squatting. Put your hands out in front of you if you like, for balance, out to the side, whatever feels comfortable for you. And remember to breathe. Blow out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. We got five more seconds. And we're gonna go into our kneeling pullovers. All right, here we go. Get down on your knees, guys. Put your hands out in front of you at about shoulder width here, too. You can make a diamond if you like and just stretch and lean back. Remember to keep your eyes focused on your hands and you wanna feel a nice stretch in your lat area and you just come right back forward. Same thing again. Heel back and forward. We got five more seconds. Keep looking at your hands for balance. All right, now we're gonna go into our push-up. 45 degree angle at the armpit. Hands roughly shoulder width. And we're gonna go down. Leave yourself about an inch or two on the floor and press straight up. Remember to breathe. In on the way down, out on the way up. Keep your form nice and tight and stable. We're gonna be working out our pectoralis major here, our chest muscle major muscle in the front of the body. Four more seconds, and we're gonna go into our supermans here. We're gonna work out our lower back, erector spinae. Lay down, face flat, arms out in front of you, or off to the side, and we're simply just gonna crunch right up. Lifting your legs up with the arms in unison. And again, to make it a little bit easier, you can put your hands more to the side if you need to. A little less weight, straight out in front. Work out just fine. You can't have abs in the front without working out your lower back, the opposite muscle. You always wanna build your body proportionally, front and back. We have five more seconds here. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go right to the front and we're gonna do a crunch now. Here we go. Flip over, lie down onto your back. You wanna eliminate that space in between your lower back here, so you wanna tilt your pelvis, your hips straight up at the sky. And we're gonna simply crunch straight up. Rest your hands on your thighs, and you just wanna lift your torso up so that your hands come up to the knees. Again, remember to breathe, blowing out on the way up, breathing in on the way down, and crunching, and really feeling a nice squeeze in your ab area here. Bring it right up, we got 10 seconds. Five more seconds, keep crunching. Look straight up at the sky if you can. All right, good, now let's switch it up, right back to our squats. We're gonna keep our intensity up here. Keep going as fast as you can here, another 30 seconds. Again, remember to keep a 90 degree angle at your knees. Come straight down and keep your lower back as straight as you can. Hands out in the front there for balance, very nice. Try to keep your lower back just a little bit straighter if you can. There we go. We got 10 more seconds. Go, and again, if you wanna pick up the intensity with this, Go a little bit quicker here. Five more seconds. 
I'm going to go into our kneeling pullover. Here we go, kneeling pullover, down on the knees. Remember, focus at the hands and bend yourself back. Feel a nice stretch in your lat area, latissimus dorsi. It's a big major muscle on your back here on the side. There we go. You're also going to work out a little bit of the erector spinae, your lower back, your core, your abs are going to keep you all tight, keep you in line there. There we go. Nice stretches. We've got 10 seconds left here. If you want to make this a little bit harder for yourself at home, dumbbells, cans of soups, books, anything like that, just hold them in your hands as you're doing your stretches. Here we go, down into our push-up. Again, to make it easier for yourself at home, you can go on your knees. A little bit less uh, weight on the chest area or up on your feet there for more advanced. And again, remember, keep a 45 degree angle at the armpit. You don't want to kind of have your arms all the way out to the side like this, putting a little extra stress on the anterior deltoid. You don't want to injure, injure that. You just want to basically work your pecs, your chest muscle. Really feel that in there. We got five more seconds. There we go, very nice. Go down as low as you can. All right, switch it up to our Supermans here for our lower back. Stretch all the way up. Reach all the way up to the sky as high as you can. Lifting up your legs as well. This is a little too hard for you at first. You don't have to lift your legs up. You can keep them flat down and just lift up the front part of your body if you need to. Again, 30 seconds here. We'll have one more time to go through this right after this here, guys. Keep it up, we got five more seconds. Keep it up, keep breathing. I don't hear anybody breathing. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna switch it up and go right into our crunch. Work out the front part of our body here. For our abs. Nice, there we go. Crunch straight up. Again, if you wanna add some weight to this for yourself, if you don't have any at home, arms. Arms weigh a good five pounds each, I would say, maybe 10 pounds. Put them out behind you and crunch straight up. It's a little added extra weight right there. Out to the side for a little bit less weight. And again, straight behind you for the most weight and the hardest difficulty here. Another way to increase the difficulty at home, if you have a ball, squeeze it between your knees here. We got five seconds. All right, and we're gonna switch it up now, go to our squat. Pick up the pace here if we can. Get a little faster, try to get a little lower this time now that we've gone through it two times here. Get as low as we can. Try not to have your knees go past the front of your toes. Keep everything in line. And breathe. Remember, same thing here too. You can kind of hold weights out to your side, in between, or out this way if you have them. Increase the difficulty here for you. Five more seconds. Here we go. Onto our kneeling pullovers. Work out those lats. Get a nice stretch. And breathe. Really feel that stretch in your lats, all the way down to your side here, and to your lower back. And again, for more difficulty, Hold on to some cans, hold on to a book. And it'll increase the range of difficulty here for you guys. We've got five more seconds left. Keep going. We're gonna go on to our push-ups. Ready, here we go. Push-up time. Let's see you do them here, nice. Remember, 45 degree angle at the armpit, looking good. Okay. Very nice. Here's the other variation here to make it a little bit easier for yourself. On your knees. Try to keep your back as flat as possible so that you're like a tabletop throughout the whole exercise. 10 seconds left here. Keep pushing, ladies. Here we go, five more seconds. Keep going, keep breathing. All right, switch it up. Now onto our Superman for a lower back. Here we go. And crunch it up to the sky here. Really feel it in that lower back. Again, you won't have abs in the front. If you don't work out your lower back as well, don't neglect it. Keep going here, keep stretching. Reach up as high as you can with those legs and hands. Got five more seconds. We go on to our crunch. Finish it up strong here. Here we go, crunch. All right. Straight up again, hands behind you, 
or out to your sides here, working all of our abdominal muscles, obliques, lower abs, and upper abs. Here we go, keep crunching. Remember, you want to remove that gap in your lower back here. You don't want to be able to put a hand through it. You want to tilt that hip bone up and remove that space from there. Here we go, ladies, three more seconds. Finish that up, all right. Very nice, how do you feel? Good? <laughs> nice, good one, good job. All right guys, that was our third Times the Charm workout. Make sure you log into xfitdaily.com and leave us your email. We'll send you updates on all things XFit. Thanks again for watching everybody. This has been XFit Daily, I'm Michael Pedarino, and we'll see you next time. I loved it. I, I sweat just enough. It was a perfect amount of time and it was just the right amount of challenge. And I really liked it. It'd be good for getting up in the morning and getting hot racing. And, yeah. My favorite exercise would be the squats. I really like to look, uh, work out my legs and my butt so they're nice and tight. And I love the Superman. It's good for um, strengthening your back. Um, you have back problems, so it's, it's really good to strengthen. The most challenging exercise would be the push-ups for me. Uh, I need to work on my arm strength just a little bit, so that was very challenging. And also for me, the push-ups as well. I have very weak upper arms.